I know this look is kind of crazy. I like it. I would go to the bodega to get hot Cheetos in this look. Hi everyone, my name is Mian. I'm a video director based in Brooklyn, New York, and I'm gonna be doing a little look today for the one and only Drew Barrymore. It's this look, if you haven't already guessed already. Sunny look, kind of sunny, cloudy vibes. I actually wore a version of this look on her show. I'm so glad to introduce you to makeup Instagram goddess, Mian Chan! Hi! Hi! That was a very, very surreal experience. So I'm gonna walk you through this whole thing. It looks kind of scary, but I'm telling you, it's pretty easy. So let's just get right into it. Starting off with getting that hair out of the face. Just makes it easier to do everything. And I am going to just do a little bit of concealer. So I was mentioning on the show to Drew that when you're doing crazy makeup looks, first of all, there's no rules when it comes to makeup. But I find that if you're doing very intense colors, a lot of makeup on the eyes, that it really helps to balance it out by doing something fresh on the skin. I very, very rarely wear foundation. I will instead opt for a concealer. This is the e.l.f. An e.l.f. concealer. And just apply that kind of all over my face in lieu of foundation. So this is an eyelid primer. I always prime my eyes before I put on any eyeshadow or eyeliner because I have very oily eyelids. I'm gonna actually go over that eyelid primer with a little bit of white. This is a white, one looks a little not so white anymore, but white eyelid primer on top. So I get that longevity, but I also get a little nice white base and that's gonna help any like pastel or light eyeshadows that I put over top really pop. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this lavender purple. It's from this Hip Dot Rio palette. Apply that to the inner corner into the crease. We're gonna blend a lot here later because Sunsets are hazy, and that's the vibe. Using the same brush because I'm lazy, I'm going to go into the center, kind of blend a little bit of pink into that beautiful purple shade. Do a little bit of yellow up here. I'm honestly just winging it at this point. A little bit of that pink, blend it into the outer corner. I like to use darker colors toward the outer corner of the eye. I just think that it Helps kind of elongate the eye shape. Gives you a bit of definition there. The secret here for blending is you don't want to get rid of the gradation of colors. If you just go in with windshield wiper motions, they're all gonna blend together and it's not gonna look great. What you wanna do is go in with small circular movements. So you end up blending it out on the edges. You still get a soft and diffused line, but you're not blending all the colors together. So once that's all blended, if you feel like you've lost a little bit of definition anywhere, you can always go back in with your original colors and just tap a little bit of extra color on top. I'm gonna put a little bit of the same colors, kind of mimicking those colors on my lower lash line, going with the purple toward the inner corner, going in with the pinks on the outer corner. They might seem hard, they're not hard. You take a little, honestly, you can take a little a little domed brush, kind of like this, it's very small. You see my, my finger, it's a very small brush. This is usually used for like smudging out the lash line. These little domed brushes are great for clouds, or you can honestly use a cotton swab, a Q-tip, dip it into your pomade, really saturate the top of it, get it, get that product rolling in there. And then you're gonna go in and start putting your clouds on. These can be anywhere you want, really. You wanna create this like wabi-sabi, imperfect kind of cloud formation. I usually do three little dots like that. That's the first one. And again, like clouds are like snowflakes. They're not all the same. There's something to be said about how amazing it is, the feeling of feeling yourself and feeling good. So I'm gonna leave you with that. Thank you so much to Drew for having me on your show. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys tried this look. If you do, please tag me because I'd love to see them and I will see you guys next time. Bye.